and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Flash Building. In this one I'm going to show you how to put bling bling on thing things. Anything shiny that you have in your on your stage or maybe in an image. If you have light shining on it or any object that you want to have a sparkle, an animated sparkle on. That's what I'm going to show you how to do. Make these cool animated sparkles that are time separated a little bit. Alright, have fun. Okay, first things first, let's get the image that the client gave us into Flash. Control C. So I press Control C when I highlight the image there. Now it's in my clipboard. Let's go create a new Flash document. Press Control V. It's going to bring it in as a movie clip. Okay, so now we have our picture sitting there, and all we have to do is get some animated sparkles on it. So to do that, an easy way to do that is just go into Fireworks and grab yourself a star. and let's make it eight points you can see mine is set with an ellipse so let's make it solid solid white let's give it an ellipse once we get back in the flash let's just shape it here that looks good to me control C and you can make yours four point some people prefer maybe a six point or a four point sparkle I like the four point sparkles, they look good. I also like the eight point sparkles. Right chow. Okay, press control C. Now once we bring it into flash, it's going to be a a native shape still. Let's bring it in as movie clip. Now you see if we double click inside this movie clip, it's a group. Now we double click inside the group. And there's a drawing object so if you, you go to the fill color give it an ellipse then go into the color palette make sure it's white on both ends and the end where the points are you just go and make it opaque click that one go to alpha zero there we go and now what I'm going to do is also add yeah, let me not move that yet. Let's go back out to where that's a movie clip on the main scene. I'm going to double click inside of it again. And I'm going to give it an oval shape right on top. Right about like that. And it already has the ellip ellipse that we want. Let's make it a little bit a little bit brighter in the center. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger actually. So it has more of a, a fuzzy look to it. Just brighten up that center a bit. There we go. Let's make it even a little bigger. <laughs> okay. That'll do. Now if we look at it, it has a uh, nice bright spot in the center which is cool and we're not going to want it to be that big but we can size this thing any way we want okay so all we have to do now is animate the sparkle so let's go and bring it where we want it to be but we're going to make it a little bit smaller so let's just drag it over to where I'm going to want one on the top of this bracelet top of that bracelet maybe one on the nail there let's go ahead yeah let's put it on the nail first no let's put it in the bracelet first okay now I'm gonna create a new layer for this actually so let's press control X get it off of that layer make a new layer press control shift V that's good let's name this one picture this one sparkles now we can resize this let's bring that dot to the center there actually let's just go ahead and convert it to a symbol convert to symbol movie clip call it sparkle sparkle one alright 
now it has a sense of registration because right when I created that movie clip if you rewind just a little bit you'll notice it had a center registration when I created it okay so now all we have to do is go inside of this and animate it so on the first keyframe inside of that movie clip I just double clicked to get inside of it let's go ahead and get the free transform tool selected and bring this dot to the very center now when you skew it it will spin on its center axis right there let's move it there and now what's going to happen is we'll make two more keyframes let's go to maybe about ten and yeah, maybe about nine and then out to eighteen create motion tween create motion tween now let's give it what we want to do is make sure that in the center it's the largest that we want to see it on the bracelet there right about there is good it's a little big but I want it dramatic just to show it off not show it off but show off the effect better a lot of you guys can make this sparkle probably a lot better than I can and you probably will okay so I'm gonna bring this one down all the way almost to nothing I'm gonna skew it a bit Let's just spin it around and then go to alpha none I'm gonna do the same thing over here this time I'm going to spin it the other way well, let me first skew it down or scale it down then I'm going to spin it this way skew it that way let's go to alpha none make sure the first one is alpha none too alpha none or zero let's bring the frame rate up to 30 and if you're working in CS4 your frame rate will already be 30 but by default in CS3 it's 12 so you might want to bring that up to 30 if you're in CS3 now let's press control enter and see what we have okay that's cool but it's going it's pumping just a little too fast and constant it's just looping over and over and over and over and over so what we want to do is go out to maybe keyframe or frame 60 and we'll press F5. Now let's press Control Enter and look, and you'll see that it's not so constant, and every few seconds it fires off. It's very cool. Okay, now let's click Scene 1 again to get to the main timeline. Now we have our little movie clip there, but you can't really see it because it's alpha zero in the first frame of that clip, on the inside of that clip. So let's just go ahead and highlight it, press Control C let's go ahead and lock the picture layer so we don't put anything there press control C with the little star highlighted or the little animation we just made press control V now you have two of them one there and one there now this one you can go to modify transform flip vertical and this way it won't do such a a mimicking animation of the one sitting right next to it they'll be a little bit different so let's take a look at that press control enter that's cool but we don't really want them to fire off all at the same time so let's go ahead and give this a couple more layers let's get one more star going control C control V let's put it in this new one down here on the nail where it's shiny right there and we're also going to zoom into about 400 and resize that one a little bit because we don't want it as big as those other ones but we do want to see it a bit so I resize it and I'm gonna go ahead and modify this one transform rota rotate this one 90 degrees just to give it some variation now I'm going to grab it, press Control X, get it off of that layer, put it on the topmost layer, Control Shift V. Let's go back to 100. I'm going to grab this one here that's on the second bracelet, press Control X, and get it on this layer, Control Shift V. Now let's press Control Enter, and they'll all be still firing off at the same time. 
and I'm going to show you how to fix that in a second but let's just take a look it's great this one right here is really nice and subtle it's more like you would want these are, I just made really big for just showing off the demonstration real good but you really want them nice and subtle to get the smoothest uh, and most impressive effect alright so now let's get these things separated out so they don't fire off such a, or so much at the same time and it uh, it just has a more realistic bling bling effect going on or not realistic but just a more engaging cool bling bling effect okay now let's go to the picture layer bring it out to about 50 by pressing F5 to make extend the frames out not make a keyframe, it's just extending them out. Now let's go to the sparkles layer. Well, the, all three of these are sparkles. So we can name this sparkle one. You can name this one sparkle two and this one sparkle three. Okay, so sparkle one, we want to fire off on frame one and extend all the way out to 50 as well, so that's good. Sparkle two, we want to fire off at frame Let's say frame 10 and then extend out to 50. Sparkle 3 we want to start at frame 20 and extend out to frame 50. So let's see what happens. Control enter. There we go. Now you can see they have a more of a randomized and different time spaced animation play when each of them fires off now. So let's just go ahead and grab a few more. Watch what I do here. Control. I'm going to grab this one. Control C. Put it on the same layer with that one. Control V. Now just make sure you take it and put it where you want it. I'm going to add a few of these. Control C. Control V. Put a little tiny one over here somewhere right there and uh, grab another one of these big ones control C control V I'm gonna put that right about here and resize that just a little bit there we go so that should give me a nice full random looking thing. Let's press control enter. Beautiful. That's how it works. So if you want to put bling bling on your grill <laughs> or whatever you have that's shiny jewelry uh, just a shiny side of any kind of object if it's 3D looking whatever has light shining on it on the brightest part this is great to put these on and to really the video won't show this animation real well but you can click the link in the description of the video to see the animation on page really well and uh, see it how it's intended to look and the video won't do it justice and I know you guys are probably looking at the video this animation right now and saying well that doesn't look that great but just go look at the page it looks a lot better and uh, oh yeah since I give away all of my source files for download so everybody can see a good demo and example of the working file you can just take my little star movie clip you won't even have to make your own you can just take my little stars and pop them in like I did okay have fun with it we'll see you next lesson